Hello everyone. Welcome to Practice Nomad Junior. I'm Miss Athena. Today we are going to explore how to edit score function in Scratch. In the previous video, you have learned about how to make a moving backdrop to the left simultaneously with the buildings, clouds, and stars. And today you are going to code for the parrot to make it go up, down, left, and right with the arrow keys. Also, you are going to learn how to code for a score function when your parrot bumps into stars. To code for the parrot, first of all we have to go and get a green, green flag clicked button. And underneath we need to add a button called go to front layer. Because we do not want the parrot to hide under the clouds, buildings or the stars. Afterwards, we want the parrot to say something. For example, time to fly. Afterwards, we will ask the parrot to show. Next, we are going to ask the parrot to move. We are going to control it by pressing different keys. For the up arrow, your parrot will move up. So let's go to the motion block and find a block called change Y by 10. And for going down, you have to Change it to down arrow and then drag a block called change y by 10 but remember you have to change it to a negative value because it is moving downwards. Similarly for the right key you have to drag a block called change x by 10 and for the left arrow you have to drag change x by 10, but remember to change it to negative value. So if you want to make your parrot to flap its wing when it moves, you can actually change its costume. You can see that in Scratch, the parrot has two costumes, A and B. So how can you do it? Similarly, we have to drag a when green flag is clicked button. And then we have to find a block called forever. Inside, we are going to add a block called next costume. And then add a waiting block here. And change the value to 0 0.1 seconds. So, you can have a look that. You can now move your parrot. And it is flapping its wing when it moves. Following, you are going to make a scoring system for your game. In this game, the parrot is going to touch the star and get a point from it. So how can you make a scoring system? Before that, you have to learn about variables. On your left hand side, you can find an orange block, which is called variables. Variables is a changeable value recorded in scratch memory. And the value will be temporarily saved. So when you start the game all over again, the previous data saved will be all gone. Each variable can only hold one number at a time, and you can simply create the variable by clicking make a variable. When you click the button, you will jump into this page, and you can create a name for your variables, for example, point, and then press OK. Once you press OK, you will see a bunch of orange color blocks shown over here. So now, let's go to your star sprite and we are going to create a scoring system for your game. And at the same time, it will change the point to by one. So after waiting for 0 0.5 seconds, the star will show again. So now, let's have a look. When you press the button, you will see the stars. So when you press the button, you will see the stars. And your parrot can move to catch the stars. So let's do a little recap of what we have learned today. First, we learn about how to make your parrot to move by using different arrow keys. Second, you learn about variables. 
which is a changeable value that recorded in Scratch memory and the value will be temporarily saved in your Scratch game and it is often to be used in scoring system or in time. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the project. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get our daily content. I'm Miss Athena and this is Preface Nomad Jr. Thank you.